My name is Glenn Kaino. I'm a conceptual artist, and we're here in my studio in Los Angeles, California. I went to UC Irvine for undergraduate school, UC San Diego for graduate school. Currently have the privilege of representing the United States in the 13th International Cairo Biennale. Well, my practice uh, uh, is really about using art and using techniques associated with art to really reconcile irreconcilable problems. When I got invited to propose an idea for the Cairo Project, I begin with sort of a general concept, and then through that process, I make a lot of contextual work, drawings, different types of sculptures and objects. So then I started thinking about who I wanted to paint, maverick artists, revolutionary thinkers, the situationists. I had this feeling of revolution after people have done it already, like this biting moment when you see a piece of sandpaper, but not new sandpaper. I wanted sandpaper that was already sanded, what I call tired sandpaper. The idea that the tooth of the sandpaper has actually been reduced, masked, coated, curved, knocked off, scratched. The humanity of that effort and the symbolic nature of like one little gesture being metaphoric for an entire revolution is sort of like what this is about. And my hope is that the idea there alone allows someone to come to like intellectual conclusions that are not articulatable through words. Like the value of this rock you know, quite possibly it could be only in the few seconds where it actually exists in the air because when it is in someone's hand, there's no necessary commitment that it's actually going to be released. And by the time it hits someone's face, it's neutered and it's already done. So this drum will become a rock tumbler, which will tumble these rocks into gems. And then presenting those in the museum space, you know, almost as a challenge to throw them. You know, when's the last time you saw someone throw a gem? A big driving force is that imagination is a perishable skill. You have to use it in order to, to know how to use it. Engaging in conceptual art or an art practice that is about understanding ideas uh, gives one the tools to then critically dissect and then reformulate things in new and imaginative ways. Art is as important as science, as medicine, as important as math and engineering. And so to me, it is as important as anything to be an artist, to draw the new pictures and draw the new diagrams and invent the new words that are going to take us to places where we haven't been.